Um, well, first, I'm proud of my team for fighting. You saw that they never gave up, and uh, that's an earmark of our program, and I'm proud of them for that. We just didn't pitch our best when we needed our best. Um, we had about a three or four week span where we were really good, and I thought we had a legitimate shot of making the World Series. And then both my pitchers got injured. And so it's been a battle since then, trying to get them healthy and, and back to full tilt. I know Lowry was 62 to 65 on the gun all weekend, and she's 67 to 72 when she's healthy. And, and I know that hurt us bad. Um, but again, um, I liked our fight. UCLA was just better. Um, it, we don't have a trainer here, do we? Yeah, I saw a lump over the left eye. And um, there was some blood coming out of her nose. And I think it also got part of her cheek. So eye and cheek is what I know at this point, and that's all I know. I don't know the severity of it or there's been no medical terms um, applied to it. back home to play this weekend and how many friends and family members did you each have out there um it was really fun to come out and play in front of my family and friends haven't seen them in a while and a lot of them came out um it was one of the best experiences that i've had in my four years just being able to come home and play my final game at home in front of all my family and friends so it was a really cool game playing against a program like UCLA um, and your mindset coming into the game? Um, well, of course we're the underdog. You know, you, you just look at the, the fence and you realize, you know, where you're at. But we're a blue-collar program and we kind of thrive upon that. You know, we, we came in here like the Beverly Hillbillies four or five years ago and, and won. And we take pride in that type of thing. And um, to not be able to do it this weekend, it had some sting to it because I, I, I felt like we were a good enough team. But as I mentioned, our pitching wasn't its best when it needed to be the best. But um, good teams like UCLA, they typically find a way to win, regardless of the circumstances. And, and they did that this weekend. Ali Carta deserves all the, the honors and accolades that she's received. She's a stud. down nine to one uh, going to the fifth. I mean, that could have ended early. What's the mindset at that point? That's not happening. Um, we're not going out that way. And we've always been a fighting team. And one run is one run. Like, that's nothing to us. So I just was thinking, get on base. Let's score one run and just keep going from there. Uh, question for Amanda. Um, you had a, a pretty good uh, bat today, a couple of hits, but in the, at your last said bat, uh, tell us what was going on there. It was a, seemed like it was a really cat and mouse yeah. pitch that was, well, was trying Carter's to set you up on. really good pitcher, so I knew I had to go up there swinging and being aggressive, especially with runners on base, and she just won that battle on that one. And again, as you mentioned, uh, playing in front of the home crowd, um, we're from East Los Angeles, so we really wanted to get your um, impressions on playing here in Southern California. Bishop Almont, of course, you have a lot of followers, but our focus is to try and um, see you as a role model for other players here locally. Um, and talk about your experience at uh, Missouri, if you would. Well, I mean, it's way different than where I grew up. I grew up in West Covina, California, so kind of a little suburb in a big city. So it was different going and playing at Missouri, but I really like the slow pace and the family atmosphere over there. And um, I don't know, I'm just blessed to be able to have that opportunity to you know, play the game I love and go to school at the University of Missouri. So I hope that I'm doing a good job for you know, all the younger kids in this area. Yeah. And for, for Coach, when we ask you about your impressions for her freshman year for Amanda. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't be more proud of Amanda and, and thankful that we have her. 
I mean, this is a young lady that could have played pretty much anywhere she wanted to play, and she chose us. And um, here she is in her freshman year, 14 or 15 home runs, hitting the mid 300s, and um, she's already a fan favorite in Columbia. It's amazing how quick that they've identified with her. Um, so I just I feel lucky. I feel blessed to have her. Wish I had three or four more. Yeah, I think um, when we sit down at the beginning of the year, our goals are always the same, and they're to win the SEC championship and the national championship. And so big picture, we're disappointed. Um, but as you start to break down and analyze the season, all things considered with a pitching staff that wasn't healthy for the last two or three weeks, um, we did OK. I wouldn't say that we want to celebrate a year like this. Um, our expectations and our standards are higher, but all things considered, I felt like we did as much as we were going to do. Coach, uh, what did you uh, tell the team when you had to regroup after the under and runs um, that hurt? Uh, yeah, it's always just um, it's always a a sad conversation because kids are graduating that you've been around for three, four hours a day for four years, and you know we're going to really miss our seniors. That that's the hard part of that conversation. Um, You know, we also talk, and this is just the way that I'm made, and I think, and, and I think a lot of our players are the same way, but all of my arrows and all of my sights are now directed right now towards 2016. <laughs> it's just the way I roll. Um, and the future's bright for the program. We're not going to get worse, we're just going to get better. Any other thank you. All right, thank you, guys. Um, just want to be able to, to say, you know, to be able to get to this point, um, a great deal of respect for everybody who gets to uh, the top 16. So played a great opponent in Missouri, as you can see. They're a team that doesn't quit. They don't fight. They don't uh, quit fighting. Um, so, you know, there's a reason that they're here at this point. Um, so it's, it's also very rewarding for, for me to be able to have this team who has worked so hard, um, you know, not only for this year, but this senior class who has been a big part of of bringing this program back and getting us back to the World Series. So I'm really proud. It's an exciting time, um, you know, to be able to make that next step. Every team dreams for it. And uh, I'm really excited to say, you know, we're going. Our next stop is the College World Series. So I'm really excited about that. I, mean, I think, one, I don't think it's truly hit me yet because I'm going to be probably really excited later on. But, um, I mean, I'm super stoked. And I'm, I'm really excited to see my team. You know, it, it's like we've been talking about. It's not just one person. It's all of us. And I'm so proud of Selena coming in and having my back. And, um, our bats were, were hot like they have been, so I'm just I'm super proud, and I hope we can continue it into OKC. Um, yeah, pretty much what Al said, just super excited. Um, I don't think it actually really hit me yet either, but uh, definitely going to be pumped and just ready to play. You know, I'm going to go there mentally strong, get after it just like we've been. Um, pretty much the same thing. I don't think it's really hit any of us yet. We're just really excited, kind of just living in the moment. And we're just going to enjoy it for today. And tomorrow, we're going to get right back after it. And, uh, you know, just all the way into OKC. Uh, Allie, talk about um, this was your last game at UCLA. And uh, talk about what you're looking forward to um, in, in the World Series. Um, I mean, yeah, it was kind of before the day. We didn't really think about it. And before the game, where, you know, the seniors, it was their last game ever at Easton Stadium. So um, it's a bittersweet feeling, but I'm glad we, we went out the way we did. And um, I'm really excited to see where this team's going to go. I think we're, we're in a great place to head into Oklahoma City. For Coach uh, Press, uh, got to be very happy with the blending of the seniors and the underclassmen. Uh, let's, can you talk about this weekend? Because, again, another powerful explosion at, at the plate with bats. And oh, defense is on fire again. You know, I think um, I, being in the coaching profession for a long, you know, for a while here, the one thing that we're always hoping for is you learn a lot through a season, and you get to a point where you're playing your best ball at the end. And I truly believe this team is playing their best ball. You know, we've learned a lot about ourselves, and we, as Ali said, we don't rely on any one person. You know, it's a very, very, very uh, strong team culture, and everybody knows they're prepared to help. They have each other's backs. Whatever it takes to win, this, this team is fully committed to that. Um, so I like to say, you know, we were hot offensively. We did things defensively. We did things offensively. They literally fought back. And that's probably the biggest thing that I'll say is their ability to punch back after opponent throws a punch is something that championship teams do. And I'm really proud that we're playing. Uh, you know, we have that fight 
here late in the season. Um, I also just wanted to throw out a note too, just to make sure I'm hopeful as as I you know we respect the opponent always that the pitcher for for Missouri. Um, I'm hopeful that you know she can. She's all right. Bottom line, it's always scary in our ball game. You know, we're swinging hot sticks and doing great things, um, but it is always, you know, we got to take a moment and stop. And I hope that she um, recovers and she's okay. Coach, talk about uh, having a power hitter like Misha down at the bottom of your lineup. And uh, what did you say to her in the second inning when you went out there and you kind of gave her a pep talk at bat? Oh, I said, stay hot. <laughs> stay hot. She's had, you know, I think if anyone. Anybody that's been at practice this last week um, could know that she's been she's been you know she's been fighting all year and um, it's not surprising she's come up with some some big opportunities but I love to see how experience kicks in you can clearly see um, it's not an option she's going to fight and um, it's great to see her get a payback here in the biggest of moments I think all her at bats this weekend were just quality at bats um, and you love that you love seeing a player play with confidence um, but that's backed by hard work. Um, this team puts in work. She's put in work with, with Coach Fernandez, and, and she's prepared. So that's all it was, stay hot, and she did exactly that. Allie, as a, Allie, as a pitcher, uh, Coach mentioned the Missouri pitcher getting hit. Were you watching at the time and your reaction to? Um, I mean, yeah, I was watching, and, you know, if, as a pitcher, one, it, you know, that's always the scariest thing. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, my reaction was probably just like, you know, their entire teams, are, you know, shock and, and just hopeful, like Coach said, that she's all right because that's probably one of the most terrifying things as a pitcher and, and just to see another pitcher go down, that's rough. What did you think of Selena's, uh, I think that was her post postseason debut in her career? I love it, love it. She came in and, and uh, shoved it, to be honest. And, and I, you know, I talked to both her and Yo um, because – a big part of it is you always want to have a pitching staff, and they have been able to help it. You know, Ali Carter has gotten us to this to this point, and and has been that solid rock for us. But it's outstanding to be able to see those two come in and have her back. So I had a talk with them right before, and simply said, you know, you're, you got to you got to mentally prepare to, to play today. You've got to be able to prepare. Ali's going to go the distance, and then you've got to be able to have her back. And you are the future of the program. So you're going to jump into this opportunity and be excited to be able to just play your game and just be you, and that's exactly what we saw. Lena, like I say, all of us, we got to see Lena be Lena, and that's always outstanding in the biggest of moments. So she'll always have that for the rest of her career, big time. Uh, I have a question for, for all four. Can we start with Delaney? Um, we've been here for the weekend, and we're here last week as well, but the, the crowd, can you tell us how inspirational, how motivational does it, the crowd lift the players and the team at any given moment? I mean, that's just the benefit of hosting Super Regionals and even Regionals. I mean, we just have our home crowd, our family and our fans and our uh, alumni, <laughs> kind of like a little joke between them. But uh, it, they're, they're huge. I mean, they continue to chant and we, we hear them, even though we may not acknowledge them, we hear them for sure. And that just really, it pumps us up and that's, and they're awesome for it. Thank you. Um, yeah, especially that last inning, I, I think I really felt them. They were all up. They are all ready for us. They are all ready for us to end it, you know, and um, I think that's that was huge for us. And a uh, big shout-out to the alumni because, it, like we said, it's a Bruin family, and they come up, and they're in it with our silly little jokes that we have, and they're all bought in, and it's just awesome to have that. Um, I, I think, too, you know, it's, it's like they were talking about, it's, it's a feeling. And so, you know, even if we don't see them or, or hear specific things they're saying, just to, to um, feel the energy that they bring. And, you know, we, we see them before the game and they're giving us shout outs. And, and so we feel all the energy they're bringing. But it, it's really cool to, you know, no matter what happens, they have our back and they're right there behind us. And, um, you know, every now and then I do hear, you know, a few of the alumni's voices and, you know, we got you, we got you. So, it, I mean, it's really cool to literally hear them that they have our back no matter, no matter what happens in the game. Thank you. Same question. Yes. Um, so, you know, one thing that I told the team earlier is they've earned the right to be here at home for regionals and super regionals, and it allows you to have that tenth man, our Bruin family, our fans. You know, all the people that are in the in the in the uh, stands. Our alumni are big, and they come back and they support. It's a big part of who we are, our Bruin family. Um, so I'm very proud of them, and that's something that you know they have left their mark in being able to have us here back at home and now carry on to the World Series. So I'm really proud of this group. They've done a great job of giving us an opportunity to be here at home. Allie, when they were fighting back in the bottom of the sixth inning, 
um, and you had the bases loaded and they were obviously were not giving up. What was kind of going through your mind and how did you kind of collect yourself to get that last strike out? I think, um, you know, I've been working with Coach Fernandez a lot on just being mentally tough. And I, I think I mentioned it yesterday after interviews but um, or during interview. But I think the biggest thing is, you know, if they're fighting, we can't stop fighting. And, and we know that, you know, the other team's going to try and come back and do everything they can because um, we're put in that position ourselves. So just as a pitcher, staying in it every pitch, and I need to, um, you know, you can't take pitches off. Uh, There's a good hitting team, so I need to just make sure I'm dialed in every pitch. And if I do happen to miss a pitch and they get some runners on, then um, just take a second, talk to my catcher, and then dial it back in. Coach, uh, talk about uh, playing Oregon again in the, in the World Series. Well, um, <laughs> Playing Oregon again in the World Series, well, we haven't done that. But um, I look forward to playing. It, it, at this point, it's not even about who we play. You know, it's the team that be, it's able to show up and play their best, and that's what postseason is about. It's, you know, we literally start a new season for regionals, for super regionals. And when we get to the World Series, it is, I expect, great ball games. But what I look forward to most is I just want these guys to be able to play their game, and we're going to have a great time there. It's going to be a lot of fun. And here we are with the champions here of the L.A. Super Regionals here at home, Sam Duran. And wow, what, what a fitting way to depart the home field, the yeah. home school here at yeah. UCLA. Sam Duran, congratulations. You. You're going out to the World Series. Yes, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Um, like I, I gave an interview before and said that this was the most exciting time. As, I, as you could tell, it's the most exciting time. Uh, to finish my last game at Easton with that type of game is just, I'll always have that, I'll always cherish that, and, and it's amazing. It's sad to leave this field, but to go to OKC where we belong, it's just, it's amazing, and this team's so ready for it. You put all the hard work, the dedication, the sweat, and the tears, mm -hmm. and everything else here at UCLA. Yeah. Now, your, your moments to shine are yes. coming up at yeah. the World Series. Let's talk about the last week, the regionals, mm -hmm. and now the super regionals. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a, a, a lot a lot of good games that right. we saw here right. but your your impression because you were involved uh, as a pinch runner mm -hmm. you were getting in on base mm -hmm. and uh, very very important what yep. coach Perez did with you to get you into the games yeah yeah no I think we um, take postseason very seriously I think we were here in this spot the last time and we won our first game last time and coming out here and doing postseason and winning super regionals was absolutely amazing so I think that we didn't take anything too lightly and I think this team knew what we had to do to win mm -hmm. and to execute so now going to the World Series somewhere where we've never been but the fun part is that the game doesn't change, and it's the same game in OKC as it is here at Easton. So, and, and let's talk about pinch running. Yeah. It's a skill. Yeah. And of course, you're inserting <laughs> in for some some definite yeah. purposes to add more runs yeah. to the lead or yeah. to catch up, whatever the case may be. But right. you were there, and we were watching you very, Absolutely. very closely. And yeah. just your thoughts of having played here yeah. in front of the home family. No, I think it's amazing. I think any way to get in to score. I think, um, as you can tell, you can have a 10 to 1 lead in in mm -hmm. a game, and they could still come back. So yeah. I think the more runs, the better, and the more base runners, the better. And you know, I don't get on base if unless those girls mm -hmm. get on with mm -hmm. their sticks so I think that was amazing and I think everyone did their job I think if you go back and see the games it's execution all around so and, I think it's amazing and we saw lots of leadership uh, from your position as you came out to congratulate yeah. all the, the yeah. players that did yeah. exceptional things in the field yeah. Sam Duran was the leader of the pack you were always <laughs> out there first but Sam Absolutely. let's talk very very quickly because uh, this is it the uh, World Series Yes. has it sunk in and also yes. for the family yes. because now a whole yes. new itinerary may be in motion yes. <laughs> to follow you to the World Series. I think it's amazing because this team, no one on this team has been to the College World Series. This is the senior class's first time and um, I think it's a four-year wait that it's a little overdue but mm -hmm. you know timing is everything and I feel like we, this team is special and I think everyone else knows that. I think that we make a statement and I feel that the World Series is, like I said, it's going to be the same game. The same three outs, the same seven innings. Um, if so, and we know how to play it, and I think the teams there know that we know how to play it, and I'm excited. I'm excited well, for it. Last question. We know you're having a gathering here, <laughs> oh, yeah. celebration, now, as it should be, but to all of the Chicanitas, all yes. the all the young ladies, yes. Latinas yes. that are watching yes. you, Sam, and have supported you, yes. and now wishing you the best. But yes. for them, still there as they grow up, yeah. those words to keep them going. Oh, I think I think the most emotional part is that you grow up watching um, this series. You grew up watching postseason. You grow up 
um, wishing to be in the College World Series. And for anyone out there, for all the little girls, every time I see someone, I say that you could do this. I never thought I'd be going to the College World Series, and, and now I am. And it's just an amazing feeling, and it's a bunch of hard work. It's support from the family, and it's knowing that you could do this, and knowing that you can win games, and knowing that you could pass classes, and knowing that you could do it all. So if the one message that I would leave, you know, everyone out there is that don't ever give up on it and take the negativity and make it your fuel, you okay. know what I mean? So thank you so All much. Right. Sam Duran, Samantha Duran, <laughs> appropriately. Thank you. Congratulations thank and good you. luck to you. Thank okay, you so we wish much. you the best. Thank you. And keep representing us. Yes, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Okay, and now the team right here over my shoulder, I think you'll be able to see the entire team here in the left field area just celebrating now the big victory in the Super Regionals. They beat Missouri, the University of Missouri Tigers, 10 to 6, and uh, they're now going to gather up with their families as they should and then plan for the next phase of the season. This is going to be the most important tournament that they're going to be playing in because it's the Women's College World Series. It starts next Thursday and it's going to be a double elimination format from what we understand and uh, that is going to be very, very critical. First game will be Thursday and it goes going to go through the entire weekend. So we'll be back. We'll see what we can do here. To Maybe catch one or two more interviews, if possible, if they allow that. But we're right here with Eric Sarney, Rico Cabrera Sr., and we've been covering the UCLA, the Super Regional that took place here again. UCLA taking care of business and winning big here as the 10th man on the field. Actually, they were in the stands, and you heard uh, Coach in the press conference talk about how important it was to have the fans here to support the team. So we'll be back in a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, closing things out here from Easton Stadium, the home of the UCLA Bruins, the last official game they played this season. And with this win, Coach Inoue Perez reached her 50-win season, and very appropriately, it catapults them into the College World Women's College World Series slated to begin next week in Oklahoma City. Today, a big victory with a final score of 10 to 6, coupled with the win yesterday over Missouri by a score of 7 to 4. The Bruins take care of business here in the UCLA Super Regional, and they've now earned the right to move on to the College World Series, and they're going to take on uh, no stranger to them, um, in fact, one of the top teams in the country and a fellow conference member, Pac-12 conference member of the University of Oregon Ducks. And that's going to be the first matchup in uh, the College World Series. So watch your local dials and your settings for the programming on that. We do believe it'll start at least at 5 or 6 in the afternoon because of the difference in time. So for Eric Sarney, shooting all of the pictures, all taking all the videos, and producing, directing here from the field. And yours truly, Rico Cabrera Sr. Thanks for watching this edition of East LA Sports Scene. It is our eighth program here on the UCLA Bruins, and we try to bring you a nice mixture of all of the activity. So here you see the, over to my shoulder here, the closing photo, group photo, team photo of the UCLA LA Super Regional Champions, the UCLA Bruins. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next edition of East LA Sports Scene.